All right, I'm here. Look at that, it's working. Cool. Sorry, I had to go get myself a water from inside. Um, so yeah, welcome to another day of airbrushing. Today, the microphone should not die. And we should be good the whole time. Um, so today, I have a pair of jeans. Um, not really a crazy order, it's just really like a kind of bunch of writing. And then we have the mailbox. The good old mailbox to my house. Uh, we've been working on the house, painting the house and stuff, so the mailbox came off and I thought it'd be a good time to paint it. Um, so we'll be painting that too, but I'm gonna start off with these pants. Um, get myself a pants board. What's up, Dennis? How's it going? Can you hear me good? Everything good? Is it loud and clear or not? And uh, I should probably grab this so I can control it over here. Cool. Now my phone's going off. Speaking of which, let me pull up. Good. Cool. Cool. Thank you, sir, for the sound check. So I guess we're doing Juice juice World's tattoos? You just got back from the funeral? Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Juice World's tattoos across this, uh, these pants here. There's kind of a lot going on. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. So let's just start with one pant leg. I'm gonna start with this side. So how's everybody Sunday going? Is that the words or the actual tattoos? Uh, I'm gonna try to make it look like the tattoos, but it's. That doesn't really make sense because uh, we're doing their black tattoos on black pants, which doesn't really make sense. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're trying to make the writing look like the tattoo writing, but honestly, you know, it's only so much I could do. guys nice and focused and then we're gonna start here mm. so they want like the five five can you guys see that is that too high that's yeah, too high let me move it what's up Asato how is it going That should be good. I have to be my own cameraman and uh, everything. Here's so five. All right, whatever. Let's do the five live.
Yeah, we're gonna use the good old what. We're gonna start off with some what. Dennis's favorite color is what. <laughs> I wonder if I should just do it all in white, honestly. Is the music too loud or is it good? Any complaints? Nothing? We'll have to see when the compressor turns on, see what the mic is like with the compressor on. I do like being standing. I'm back to standing, which is nice. I like being standing. <laughs> Turn the pressure up about 40 feet. 40 feet, 5, 45. Um, and then take one good last look at this writing before I get started. Live life. Cool. So let's do the live. What's up, Elon? What's up, Easy Airbrush? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? <laughs> Besides live life, right? Eh, I guess. I guess you could not live life. I don't know. If you're alive, you're living life. I don't know. Give it the, the same look as the tattoo, which is rough. I always trip out on like famous people's tattoos, bro. I just can't do it. I would like to see some, uh, <laughs> I would like to see some uh, famous people or rich people with like nice tattoos. Like really nice tattoos. Like The Rock. He has a really nice tattoo. But that one's like all like traditional. It's really nice. But then you got other people that are just like, dang dude, like It's like Lil Wayne, my guy. How's Lil Wayne have like a half a million dollars in his mouth? But then his tattoos look like you know, he spent a hundred bucks or something. <laughs> right like I don't understand the rock has all dope tats yeah for sure I think it's the rap really the rappers are more guilty of it than anything 
They'll pose with a fucking Lambo or a Bentley or a Bugatti. And then their freaking tattoos. It's just like, what were you doing? What were you doing, my guy? I don't know if it's for the, like, the street cred look. Street cred. <laughs> What's up, Oscar? Is that Wheezy F, baby? <laughs> yeah, a few gifts, but they have meaning to you. But you're also not fucking, you know, a billionaire. Like, you know, I don't understand. That's what I'm saying. I could expect it, like me, you know, right? I'm not made of money. I have some tattoos that are fucked up. It happens, bro. But if you got money, bro, like, why aren't you, like... <laughs> I don't know. And, like, Lil, Lil Wayne is specifically... He had money since before he was Lil Wayne. You know, he was with the Hot Boys doing all that. <laughs> yeah. You know, but even then, like, he could have gone out and got some, like, nice tattoos on his skin. and But, like, somehow he made more money and then ended up with worse tattoos than when he started. I don't know, bro. I hate to point out Lil Wayne specifically, but he's the one that I could think of right now. But then the dude will have a fucking half a million dollar chain around his neck. Like, I didn't get it. <laughs> he said, no, nah, he'd rather get them in prison. Oh, no, what? That's crazy. All my tats are garage tats. Yeah, I, well, no, I have professional tats. But some of the professional tats, they look worse than the tats that I got from friends, so... What's up, Bob Chandler? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we got that one. And when we switch to the other leg, we'll do life. Live in life. Um, then we got... Um, we will do this I love all. Basically in the same writing. We'll do that right here. She has like a quote here, and then a quote on the other side, and then one across the back. And it's, ba it's the same writing. I guess I, I should try to match it to the tattoo as much as I can. The exciting, crazy, detailed world <laughs> of airbrushing <laughs> shirts and stuff. Do you ever plan on redoing the bad tats? Maybe later on, once I get some, some money.
where did you get your easel? Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember where I actually got that easel. I've had it for a really long time, so. Which paint is good for to do when you want to do tattoos or design onto a shirt? I have no idea what you're saying, brother. I have no idea what you're saying, brother. If you talk Spanish, you're better off just saying it in Spanish. And I swear, if the question is, what paint do you use? That is some beautiful writing. <laughs> look at this. Look at this beautiful writing I'm making. I swear this mailbox project will be a lot more entertaining. Cool. So, live and I love all. I hate black because it gets all the dust on it.
Live a life. What's up, Tats? How's it going? And then for this piece over here. I guess it's I'm sorry with two little hearts. I'm doing good. Just trying to get this these pants out of the way. Uh, it's not the most cool of projects, but it's a job that came in and I gotta knock it out. <sighs> Cause bills gotta get paid, bro. These bills, you know, we got bills. For all those guys thinking, oh, I hate painting stuff like this. It's like, yeah, well, bills. This fancy stuff ain't gonna pay itself. And all of this little bitty artwork helps pay for it all. says I'm sorry <laughs> he's sorry bro <laughs> so there you go we got the front of these pants done Live life, and that down there. It's life, great and exciting times of an airbrush artist around here. Okay, and then we gotta do back here you would like to order some work for me cool you don't order work in the chat though you can message us anytime Um, so let's see the next one here. Hmm. Anti. It's anti, but the N is actually like outlined. And the uh, Well, it's actually that the N and the I are like outlined. Hmm. And why do I get these kind of orders? Alright, yep. 
just a so let's see A and then the N C Cool. Anti. You guys can't barely see that. There you go. Still working? Is that working? Hello? No, I don't think it's working. There you go, we're back. Okay. I don't know what I did there, I messed with it. Uh, so there you go, we got that one on that side. Then we got a skull little thing that goes on this other side. some fire I don't know man these pictures are not the best either so
got some little flames going around, I guess. Let's use a little black to outline them in real quick. What's up, fish in the backwoods? How's it going, man? hot. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite nice in here. Feels alright. Luckily enough. Outline the sun real quick. All right, here's the question. Is that loud or not? Can you guys hear that? I'm sure you guys could hear that. Is it as bad as yesterday? Do I need to do this?
so it's not that loud. It's loud, but not that loud. It's loud as fuck in here. But hopefully the microphone drowns most of it out. Is it better with the mic on or off? That's the biggest question, I guess. What's up, James? How's it going? Alright, this is about the most complicated thing that has to go on the pants. It's not really that complicated, but... You know... As far as these pants concerned, it is the most complicated thing. You can still make out what I'm saying? Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, if it's if it's too bad, just let me know and I'll I could just flip the mic down. So this it's like lightning lettering. I guess it's not too hard. It says revenge, but it's like lightning lettering. It's the best way I could describe it. Lightning lettering. R-E-V-E is four, N-G-E is three. E is in the middle. And of course it's white on black. So just finished the Punisher Skull flag. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I seen you post it up in the Discord. It was looking pretty good.
Got the layout out of it, now we can just go ahead and fill it all in. <clears throat> cool man, yeah, I was supposed to pick, I'd like to check it out. Lightning lettering. I spent over 500 hours airbrushing so that my lightning lettering one day can be the ultimate lightning lettering. The ultimate lightning lettering. Good night, Bob. I'll see you later, man. Oh, we're almost done with these pants, I know. Bob's over there falling asleep. Should put the music on so I have something. There you go. Oh yeah, music. Music makes it all better, for sure. Oh, does it look like lightning lettering? Because <laughs> it kind of does.
Cool. There you go. Lightning lettering. All my hours of airbrushing culminated into one amazing lettering. That the lettering looks like they mean it. Uh, <laughs> cool. Anyway, that's the end of that. Uh, I can switch the camera over here. I'll take this over to the press when I'm done here with the stream. Now the fun stuff begins. Now we got that out of the way. Leave that there. That cord is very finicky. Doesn't like to be touched. All right. Cool, so here's our next uh, victim of today. We got Mr. Mailbox here. And we're gonna go through the whole thing here on stream. We're gonna do the whole project. Um, should I, I say that like it's gonna take us forever or something, but. So we are, we're gonna start from sealer all the way up to the top coat. Uh, using all the Createx line. We're gonna go through the whole thing here. Start by taking out these screws that I don't need to be on there. Put those aside. Take a drink of my water. <coughs> all right, take a slow drink of my water. Cool, so we have this guy here. And uh, before we get started with anything, I actually think we just need to clean it real good. Uh, so I'm just gonna get some water. I'm gonna get, actually, I'm just gonna go, go get some soapy, or do I even need to go? I don't need to go, because I have soapy water right here. I'll just kind of wash this off. Not worried about about the back too much because that doesn't show obviously. We just need to clean it off real good. It sits outside, so it shouldn't be too too dirty, but just make sure we get anything loose on it off. I don't know why somebody painted it dark blue. It's been the mailbox here on the house. And it's been like this. Uh, but we're gonna decide to give it some different uh, different look today. We're gonna start off by sealing it with white, with white sealer. Start laying in some browns, maybe to make it look like wood. Cool thing about being out here is that we can actually use the spot gun for this. So I have my spot gun here set up now. So we'll be able to use the spot gun. Take it easy with that water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I almost choked myself to death, huh? Wipe it off with some degreaser real quick. Make sure that we get the paint to stick as best as possible. Probably gonna paint it this way.
cool. Did you light up the streets last night? Yeah, we tried. Uh, apparently, uh, there was a lot of people that had fireworks. You know, there's a fireworks ban in place, but there was so many uh, fireworks going off. I don't know where everybody got their fireworks. There was no no fireworks stands anywhere, nothing like that. Yet the fireworks were going off all night. So, but it's every Saturday, so we'll probably go be out next Saturday. And, be out there in full force. Cool. So I want to try to find something to prop this open with. Perfect. So that we can keep that open while we spray the white sealer on there. So start off by unplugging our airbrushes over here. Cool. So I'm going to use some white sealer, right? Some Autoborn white sealer. We're going to use a little bit of a uh, 4011 reducer along with that and I can't tell if that's focused or not let me just check right so I'm just gonna start by pouring in some reducer in here Got a good spray coming out. I gotta kind of like be over it. Yeah. And I don't know why I just moved this. And I could do this. There you go. Mixing up the white sealer. Put my mask on. Mask with headphones. How's this going to work? That works pretty good. I can see the voice thing going up. Luke. 
<laughs> okay, so we got the white seal coming out. Give a little shakety shake. Give it a quick pepper clip. Let that first coat dry up a little bit. Actually, it just looks better already in white. You get all that texture. It actually has a, quite a bit of texture. I don't know why somebody painted the blue. I don't know. So. Give that a second to dry up. Plug in the exhaust fan. Let's see how loud that is. That's not too loud. That's pretty good. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, you guys can hear me. Alright. We've got another second to dry. And it's 
actually quite nice in here, not a big old cloud or nothing. Good. We're good. Hello? Anybody there? That exhaust fan is actually working really good. Nice. <sighs> and so we just gotta leave, let this dry in between coats. Who, who could that be? Oh. Simple enough, let it dry. Actually, I'll be right, right back. One second. Cool. All right, pretty dry. Again, dry enough. Give it another minute or two and we'll put it one final coat on there. Right on, David. We'll see you later, man.
<laughs> so James with the what color is that? It looks like purple. I like it. So I'm going to take some uh, transparent sand and see how much of this sealer we have left here. I have quite a bit left over. Can you use that for something else? Label it before I forget what it is. this dry for a sec and I've emptied out most of the sealer in there but all I'm going to do is take some transparent sand we're going to add that into the little teeny bit that's left in the bottle there we're just going to throw in just a tad bit of 11 40 11 reducer and we're going to shake it up What's up, Justice? I just noticed it was Justice and James. How's it going, guys? So that's gonna give us a really like a brownie, you know, in between sealer. So the base coat, you know, we're turning the, the basic uh, Createx airbrush color, right? And transparent, makes it with a little bit of sealer. We're gonna mix a, like a, a tinted sealer, basically, is what we're doing. Um, that we can have a good wood, wood base coat color. Shaking that up nice and good. Got it coming out good. This is not dry, so let's give it a minute to dry.
watching you in the TV in the camper. Oh man, nice. We actually have a camping trip planned out for the, the end of the month too, so. I'm right there with you, man. Jess has actually been itching and itching and itching to go. The last time we went camping, we went camping in New Mexico with some family, like on my side of the family, and yeah, we'll probably never go back to that place. That was the worst experience camping that we've ever had, both of us ever in our lives. So we're not trying to go back to there. Easy airbrush coming in with all the skulls. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay some of this sand tan color in there. We'll probably do a couple coats of this, just to make sure it's nice and even. I mean, it already looks a million times better than that dark blue freaking mailbox we had. We've been painting a lot of that dark blue off the house. It's been like a, a goal of mine since we moved here to repaint that dark ass blue on the house. I don't know why somebody thought like it's not even a navy blue. It's like an off off navy blue color would be good for a house. It's really dark color. Your skull changed, its eyes are not glowing. Yeah, depending on how many months, uh, it'll change. So, the first month you get a, a quill skull, and then the second month it changes, and then I think after six months you get your eyes back or something like that. So are we out of the tan? Yep, we, we ran through that. Sad, so, uh, let's mix up some more. This transparent sand, but this time I'm gonna throw some 40-50 in it. And let's see here. There's still some 40-52 mats in this bottle, so we'll use this. Throw a little bit of reducer in with it. Isn't it very nice just having all the paints right here where I could just grab what I need. Do you use opaque or transparent colors for t-shirts? Use opaque black and white and transparent and everything else. shake. We'll actually let that first coat kind of dry before we start laying too much of this in there. But this does sit outside so adding that 4052 in there will increase the durability of the paint including in the sun. You know. Then we could go back and add some shading on the wood and all that good jazz with the airbrush and then we'll come back and give it a nice uh, top coat on the whole thing
Cool. We'll give that a second to dry. And then we'll give it another another coat. And um, then we can switch over to the airbrush and do all our nice little shading and details and stuff. Actually, I'm just going to move this camera over to the other side so that when we do switch over to the airbrushing, you'll be on the correct side to watch, watch it all happen. Oh, come on. Have you ever had to pinch back your bottom feed? So your bottom would grip again? What do you mean pinch back? Like squeeze, the, like squeeze it? I've never had that problem, no. It's drying up quite nice. Drying up quite nice. Where did I put my water? Thirsty. The brass mouth. Yeah, I've never actually had that issue. I know what you're talking about now, but no. Are you using bottles with metal? metal um, things in it, metal tops. So I know for the longest I used the Createx adapters and I've only been using these for that long, like not, not that long, you know, so might be a thing that over time might happen. And I just want to keep going, but it's like we got to wait. We gotta give it like a good, you know, so, you stopped using those? Yeah, I don't know then. Because if you use the plastic ones, the plastic ones don't damage it. I know that. But the metal ones, I haven't, you know, I haven't used them long enough to know if they do or don't. Watching paint dry, man. The most exciting thing. Still not dry. How much reducer did I add that much? I didn't add that much.
It's getting drier. There you go. It's starting to dry up. The Bakersfield heat. Oh, yeah, man. You're talking about 100 and something, 110, 115 degree weather. It's hot out there in Bakersfield. I've been to Bakersfield once in my life. Never want to go back. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. Starting to dry up little by little. So. <laughs> yeah, I say never ever, but you gotta drive through Bakersfield to get to the beach. So, we'll probably end up going through there again. But nothing like last time where we were there for what two days, something like that, and it was just hot as fuck the whole time. It's like a hundred and something, like 115 degrees, even at night, it was like so hot. It's like, no, I'm good. I'm good on that. Slowly but surely. the blow dryer on it. I need one more extension cord. Arizona still kicks your ass. Oh man. Don't remind me about Arizona. I have a brother that lives in Arizona. Come on, just dry up already. Tell this front's kind of dry. The mat is, you know, starting to show through. This is starting to dry up little by little. Back is kind of dry. I just don't want to touch it. Is it possible? Is it possible?
There's nowhere to grab it. Ah. Process a little bit. Cool. Oh, don't drop it. Oh, don't drop it. Oh, don't drop it. Alrighty. Not dropped. Whew. Yeah, it's dry now. Let's give it one coat, one last coat. I'm doing so many coats is because again it's going to be outside we want to make sure it's going to last um, you know it's not going to fade in a year or two or something you know we really want to make sure it's going to be there permanent Just, I don't want to have to paint it every year so I want to make sure we get a nice full coverage of color That's all the ground. Perfect. It's nice and perfectly tan. Pump this out. And I was going to make a dump bucket today and I totally forgot. I ran out of time, it's more like it. I don't know how many of you guys are on the Discord, but I'm working on the house.
I'm going to use a little bit of Dirt Track Brown Candy. Dirt Track Brown. What's up, James Schroeder? How's it going? Thank you, thank you, sir. So I'm just gonna use Dirt Track Brown Candy. We're gonna go back in. We're gonna kind of add in all the shading on the wood here. I'll probably go ahead and take this guy off. So you see we have these like wood slats here. So we're gonna add in all the shading on the wood and stuff. Start over here. Start by adding a little shade over here, kind of coming down off of this wood. Outline the individual wood pieces. And it was the wife's idea, it was Jess's idea to make it look like wood. I was like, ooh, I got some ideas. She's like, no, 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 just make it look like wood. Nothing too crazy. I was like, ah, you can it, man. She's like, it is going to go on the house. I was like, ah, you got a point. It's more room than I had before, yep.
And for those rendering, this is pro this is about the same way you would paint like something for a prop, for like a movie or like um, say cosplay armor, stuff like that. Uh, movie set items, theme park stuff. See what else? And every time you go somewhere, you see those theme parks and they have those characters. You know, this is about the same way you'd end up painting that. Using the 4050, make sure you get a good four or five coats of uh, base. Make sure you're using the sealer. And then we're gonna put a protective coat on it here at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and sit for this next part until I get a bigger uh, work table. We're kind of stuck with these regular size tables. I'll probably just end up buying some wood and building one. Uh, sit, sit down, my friend. Relax your feet. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to have to get Jess out here to see what she thinks, get her approval. I was going to say it was her idea. You've been doing paint and body work for 30 years. Will it be easy to go into airbrushing? Uh, I don't know. It all depends on what you're trying to do. Trying to do artwork? Probably not. Just trying to airbrush spot jobs? Sure, probably pretty easy.
What's up, Slam Jesus? You started airbrushing because of me? Am I that bad? Am I that bad that you were like, I'm just gonna replace this guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Nah, I'm just playing my guy. I'm glad I could be an inspiration. Just don't look at me to be no role model, dude, because I ain't ready for that. <laughs> That's looking mecha. It's looking trash. I know, I know, bro. You couldn't even put the word trash in the sentence. I like it. <laughs> looking good all right thank you thank you sir I feel better now knowing it's not trash it's all this work into this mailbox that probably nobody will ever notice we used to have a mail lady that we you know we knew pretty good we talked to her and she still brings Violet's gifts every year for her birthday. Um, she's a really nice lady. She was our male lady for a really long time, so we kind of really liked having her around. And uh, yeah, now we don't have her as our male lady, so it's kind of sad. <laughs> Come on! Oh yeah, easy. I'll, I'll give you the the stream settings here in a minute, or when I get off here. I almost forgot. I just remembered. go we got our little looks like a little 
Little tiki hut. Simple enough. There's a bug on you. All witted out, looks pretty good. I was gonna go with back with some black, but I don't even think it needs it. I think it looks good just like that, the brown. The brown with the tan. Yeah, it looks good all the way around. Pretty good right there. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray some satin top coat on it. Rinse out my airbrushes here, or rinse out my airbrush. Break open this satin clear here. Just so it has a little bit of a shine to it, but not too much. Just gonna drop in a little bit of reducer first. Your wife should like, yeah. When, once I'm done putting the satin on it, I'm going to have her come out here and give us her opinion on it. Give us a good, good shake. Looks like our fence, it's fancy. You gotta come see it in person. In like, in like 10 minutes. I wanna see your reaction on stream. So, so I'm just gonna do a light coat here to start off with. I'm surprised how good the ventilation is actually working in here. Our push-pull system of air is actually like really good. Sucks out the overspray pretty pretty quick. And it's staying actually pretty cool in here, which is nice. first coat of satin dry up. Kind of move you guys a little bit. 
so you guys can get the lights into the shot. Yeah, that looks way better than our freaking dark blue mailbox that we had going on. That fake wood effect, it really brought out the, the texture that the that the mailbox already had. But now it just looks really nice. This looks like it's made out of nice, you know, wood. Not just all blue. Dirty. Give that a few minutes to dry. We'll throw another coat on there. Finish up my water. So that's that's pretty much it for today's stream. We got the pants done over here. I gotta bring the press in here, set up the press, and then you know once this is nice and dry. I could go and set it up so the mail lady can deliver the mail tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I forget the microphone's right next to my. Yeah, sorry, I already know. So we can throw another coat on it and it'll be a wrap. There you go. We have officially used the 4050 on something that's going to go outside. actually savable I'm saving it and since this is just satin with reducer we could actually just make some candy with this so then I have to go over here in the candy shelf and when we need another color of candy we could just mix up some new candy rinse out with our soapy water The nice thing about working with the Createx, uh, there's no harsh chemicals, you know. Rinse off with some soapy water.
What's up, Steve Award? How's it going, man? Thank you, James. Thank you, Easy Airbrush. Now I have to tell Jess to get her butt out here, so I will, so you guys can get a reaction live. And she could talk smack about it. Now we can make sure our spot gun is always part of the show, part of the production. And I actually need to get another um, little dry filter for my big gun. But the big gun will also be making an appearance and permanent residence here on the channel. So as we go forward, not only will we be airbrushing, but we'll also be going through and, um, you know, clearing everything and showing how to clear it. You got to come. Come show everybody your haircut. What do you think? Isn't this my idea? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> it was your idea. That's why I want you to check it out. You think the male lady's gonna be like, ooh, that's cool. You think she'll even notice? I know, that's what I said. I wish it was the old male lady, Terry. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Yeah, it looks a hundred times better than the dark blue mailbox. For sure. And I don't even know where we would find a mailbox like this, because now all the mailboxes they sell are just regular ass mailboxes, so. Right on, Stephen Ward. Thank you, thank you, sir. I got it over there so I could see. And when I read the chat, it looks like I'm looking at the camera. Is that good? Is it loud on the stream or no? Can you tell how loud it is in here on the stream? No? It's loud in here, huh? Yes. Yeah, it's loud. <laughs> see? You can't tell on the stream, which is good. Can you hear the music at all? Yeah? A little bit. That's good. Cool. Luke. Cool. Right on guys, so that does it for today. Close her up. And there is our mailbox project for the day. Looking pretty smoothy, pretty slicky. I can go take those screws. We go mount it back in where it goes and we can get our mail tomorrow in our nice new mailbox and also you know this thing kind of pretty much sits in the sun so I'll be able to give you guys feedback you know since long how long it lasts all that good jazz so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with it I think it looks pretty good it looks like nice new clean wood so I know it's not the most amazing projects, you know, but this is a pretty realistic airbrush project that most people will get, you know, like, I, I just wanted to look back how it was. This is probably back how it was when it first, you know, shipped. It was probably painted nice to make it look like wood. So, yeah, she liked it, James. So, anyway, guys, uh, if you guys got any last questions before I go, could answer those for you right now. Um, other than that, I think I think that's it. Right on hand for letters. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It means a lot. Uh, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit my butt down uh, like I said we've been painting on the house all day we got most of the white on the front of the house done we'll 
I'll be adding the sand color on the house here pretty soon. There's still a lot of caulking to do. Um, there's still a lot of work to do on the house to be in general, but you know, slowly but surely. But wanted to get you guys this out today since I had to paint this so we can put it back out there. Um, you know. Hopefully you guys enjoy that process. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.